Okay, guys, so welcome uh, to Wednesday's Hangouts. Uh, Dropship Central, your boy Danny's here. Um, we got a special guest again due to popular demands uh, after Nick um, gave a presentation last time. Uh, many requested to uh, to have him back back on uh, to give a presentation. Uh, Nick is the founder of the currently best eBay dropshipping software called Dropship Beast. Uh, he runs four companies himself, and uh, I'm one of his well, I guess most important customers, or at least one of the most important uh, uh, one of the important ones. So I asked Nick for a favor if you could pop on uh, for a free presentation here um, um, to show us uh, his software, how it works, and uh, uh, like uh, so you guys see the quality um, uh, yeah so some people um, okay Gary please don't share your screen okay uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh man um, where was I yeah so many people consider Nick the um, the Steve Jobs of eBay dropshipping uh, he's really uh, really fast with implementation and everything and um, can we give Matt controls? Um, yeah, I'm the host now, so Matt's not here. So we'll just see how we're gonna do this. Let's see if Matt is still here. I'll just pause the recording. Okay, so after fixing the the technical issues, uh, we're back on. So again, we have uh, Nick here, the uh, the Steve Jobs of eBay dropshipping, and he'll uh, you guys, many of you asked him to come back and give another presentation. For free, so we asked Nick, and uh, he agreed one last time because he said uh, the crowd was pleasant last time. And um, yeah, so uh, Nick, are you ready uh, to start presenting the famous yes. Dropship Beast uh, software um, that is taking the eBay Dropshipping world by storm? I guess. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to excuse my English because it's uh, not very good, but I uh, hope you can understand me. Uh, can I start with presentation? Absolutely. Yeah, your English is fine, Nick. So uh, don't worry about it. Um, okay. It was fine last time, and uh, yeah, if not, people can just uh, drop in a question. Antonio okay. says we understand you very well. Yeah. So Great. yeah, uh, Jose is saying it's fine, Nick, like last time. Okay. So um, we can get going. <laughs> right. Okay. So this is the user dashboard of the system. From here, you can control everything uh, from your eBay account. Uh, here you can see all the listings that I have listed on eBay. And you can do almost everything like uh, from eBay. Um, uh, I don't know from where to start. Let's start from here, from the yeah, just, left. Just show them, just show them like how, what you can change in a simple listing just easily, you know, like with the first one, for example. Okay, we'll open it here. Uh, you can see the title. I will change it now to this one you can change from this button this pencil here uh, when you click it uh, editing mode is activated on this listing and you can change title also profits and ebay prices this sale is your ebay price buy is amazon price here are uh, ebay quantities let's say i want to sell three and this is amazon quantities uh, Okay, if you are ready with the editing of the listing, you have to click here. Uh, by the way, uh, for those who don't know, like the, the 500, what Nick, when Nick said this is Amazon quantity, it means like the Amazon stock level. We're just using Amazon as, a, as an example for a supplier right now. We will yeah. later show like how to do it with Walmart, et cetera, but it's the same thing. Uh, and yeah, if, it yeah, and if it, if it shows like less than 500, then like the stock level on Amazon is decreasing and, uh, and uh, the beast is, is, uh, is tracking, tracking it. And then you can see like, uh, we see the exact quantities when they become 20 uh, and if uh, if you see here 500 that mean uh, Amazon have enough quantities so no need to worry about this uh, let me show you the eBay listing right now you see the title is changed the prices quantities uh, and yeah the profit also but you can see it on eBay so Let's start with this. If uh, here is the blue dot, that means the item in Amazon or uh, Walmart have uh, two-day shipping. And uh, this indicator show you. If the indicator is uh, yellow, that means the item is with uh, standard delivery. Let me see if I have uh, standard items. Yeah. 
by this, this means the item is with standard delivery in Amazon, no Prime. This page is sold by third party seller. Also, the red indicator shows you that uh, the item is out of stock in Amazon, currently unavailable. And, we, and uh, when we detect uh, such item, we'll set your quantities. Well, <laughs> we'll set your, uh, set your quantities uh, in eBay to zero. So um, there is no chance to, to sell it. Yeah. Uh, Nick, uh, someone asked if you change the profit, will it automatically change the selling price? Uh, yes, they are connected, the profit and uh, eBay price. Let's say I want to have 10 pounds profit and you can see the eBay price is changed as well. Also, if you change the eBay price, your profit will be changed. Uh, also, here is uh, percents, uh, which uh, will be uh, your profit from Amazon price. And if the Amazon price goes to, let's say, 100, uh, and you have 17 percent, your profit will become 17 dollars or pounds. Also, if this became uh, 10 dollars in Amazon, and you have 17 percent from Amazon price, uh, your profit will be 1.7. Nick, Nick, someone, someone, Pedro asked, uh, what about variations with dropshipping? So, for example, let's say there's an uh, there's an Amazon listing and there's like variations. Uh, currently, we don't support variation because we have a little problem with them. But uh, hope in few weeks to fix this. Uh, if you want to track uh, current variation from Amazon, uh, there is no problem to get the link and to list it on eBay. But uh, if you have uh, variations on eBay, we can track only one of them. Uh, this is one of the, the biggest uh, problem of the system. Uh, but uh, as a starter, you can start to list uh, with uh, without variations. Yeah, just so just just add another listing, right, for a different variation. Yeah, you can you can list the, the variation on another listing, no problem for that. Yeah. Let me show you what you can do more from the system. Wade is asking how straight for uh, for Dropship is to link eBay and Amazon account. Uh, we'll get to that. It's it's very easy. Uh, Wade. If you, if you if you have a file for, with uh, Amazon links, it will take uh, less than a minute to connect them. Yeah, uh, maybe we'll just continue with the presentation and we'll, we'll answer some questions like after okay. like 10, 15 minutes so like we don't get interrupted and uh, then we can answer everything at once, right? Uh, here you can see the image of your item listing in eBay. This starts show you the rating from Amazon. Uh, this is the title, also is the link to eBay listing. Uh, this is linked to eBay, uh, to Amazon. Uh, if you want to change the list, uh, um, link that we track, uh, you have to click here and you can enter the, the new link that want to be tracked for this uh, listing. And the system track uh, every one hour uh, and uh, not only prices and quantities, but uh, we are the only system that track uh, the shipping profile of the item. I mean, if the item is uh, prime, we will set you a uh, different uh, shipping policy for that item. Uh, and if the item be became uh, with standard delivery, the system will change your shipping policy yeah. to uh, under one. Nick, probably most people don't know like what, what uh, policies are for eBay. So just as a quick as a quick explanation, and Nick has a, a free okay a for free like setup guide for like how to set up set up an eBay account and set the policies right. And connected connected to Beast. Business policies are basically just uh, where you set your your like for example that you yeah. set policies that you only accept immediate payments and stuff like that. The same for for shipment. So um, as you can as you guys can see, it's very very well thought out. You know, like not just like many many of the other softwares that I that mm -hmm. I, It's just like yeah. shipment policy is the most important of all because uh, uh, us uh, because eBay uh, will rank you better if you have. Uh, uh, Small deliveries. Uh, if your deliveries are not uh, too big, I mean, a delivery frame, uh, they will rank you better. And uh, you offer prime items. You can make a policy where the item will be delivered in two or three days maximum, and this will boost your uh, listing. 
So uh, I told you about these percents from uh, this here. Uh, you can see how much uh, watchers you have on the listing. Currently, this is new listing, so let me try to find another one. This listing have two watchers. Here are they. Uh, also, from this, uh, you can see how much, uh, how many time you saw this item. Let me find someone, something. Yeah, this was sold one time. And this hint show you how many page views, how many times people click on your advertisement uh, on your listing. And this is the last uh, indicator which show you the conversion rate of the listing. Uh, this is a very cool feature because uh, you can easily see which uh, listings are underperforming. So you can easily delete them. Let me, you can sort them like uh, conversion rate. And you can see here the uh, this particular account is uh, uh, is new, uh, almost two months old. So there is no much information on here, but you can get the idea. Uh, you can see here the conversion rate is 72. Uh, the conversion rate is uh, page views divided by how many times you sold the listing. And you can see if uh, is if. Uh, let's say this listing have uh, 700 page views and no sales. Uh, this conversion rate icon will become uh, red. So when you are checking your items and see conversion rate with a uh, red indicator, uh, that means the listing is not performing very well. Yeah. So, um, you... so guys, so guys, like conversion rate just means like if it's a successful, rather successful uh, listing or not. So it's an indicator whether to leave that listing on or delete it. Okay. So that's just yeah. some extra service. Uh, also, guys, like we're sending me all, all the private messages. Uh, it's, it's, I can't read them all, especially if they're long. So just we'll, we'll cover questions later, okay? Uh, and during the presentations. Uh, uh, yeah. So just, just as, as a hint for everybody, so we have a context here. Like the, the great thing about Dropship East and why like many, many of the big uh, dropshippers are starting uh, switching from whatever they're using uh, to Dropship East. It's just that it's easy to use. It's just simple to make changes. Uh, they don't have like uh, crazy algorithms, uh, you know, that where it takes like hours for things to change if you change the price. Uh, also, it's reliability, so you can, you can make a, like a comparison to Apple in a sense. Um, for those that don't have experience with other software, so you just have a context um, here uh, uh, in, in terms of like uh, what, what the good thing is about, about it. Okay, Nick. Okay. Uh, other thing that you can do from this page. Uh, you can easily change the profits to all items at once from this page. By clicking here, you select you select all items, and uh, you can uh, set profit uh, amount or percents. Let's say amount. I want to have uh, let's say three dollar profits for all of them. And when I click save, the system will start to update uh, listings one by one. Uh, you have to wait a little bit. Uh, you can open another page or you can change titles. You can do whatever you want, uh, but it will take a little time. You can see the profit for our items is changed now. Also, eBay prices will be uh, changed. You also can uh, delete the selected listings at, one, at once with this button and listings. Also, you can delete a listing from this and button here. It will delete uh, the listing from eBay directly. <clears throat> yeah, there is uh, too much products, but. <laughs> yeah, Eric is asking if you if you set the quantity to one and the item sells, is there a way to have it automatically? Yeah. So the system will restore the quantities uh, immediately after the sale. So no need to go to eBay and uh, do it man manual, manually. Uh, also, uh, this is very good because if you keep your uh, quantities to, let's say, one, uh, when the bar goes to the, the listing, uh, he will see this last one. So it will uh, give you, let's say, better ch chance to sell this item. I'm not so sure, but I think it will help. It, it tends also, to help. It tends to help, yeah. Also, uh, if you are uh, just starting, uh, you have uh, very low uh, limits to list items. 
and you have to keep uh, all of your listing to one quantity so you have uh, more uh, listings because if you have 10 uh, limits in eBay and uh, if you list two items with five quantities uh, these two uh, listings will eat your limit yeah so for those who are starting out uh, or who are from the easy system today which is the, the course the eBay course Matt and I recorded um, if you when you're starting out sometimes you'll have like low sell selling limits so uh, like uh, when you're starting out and you have like low sell limits just put one quantity available and uh, so you don't eat up your, your sales limits you know mm -hmm. uh, also from here you can uh, let me open another page Uh, from uh, here are the uh, listings uh, sorted by conversion rate that I was talking about. Uh, here you can see some uh, bad listings. Uh, it's good idea to delete them, and or you can change titles or pro profits or whatever you want. Uh, another uh, cool things that uh, you can do from the system you can uh, sort by uh, your listings by profit price uh, sales page views out of stock prime no prime also you can com combine uh, this sorting with uh, uh, sorting for uh, items that didn't sell for one two three months or never sold yeah so for those that are starting out this is important because like if you have a listing that hasn't sold in a month or so you should usually get rid of it, and that that way you can easily find like which which items to uh, to delete again. Um, so, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, here you can see the one that you have uh, for the system. This is uh, uh, links that we track, and this is the maximum amount of. Uh, uh, I mean, this is the limits that we have. You have in the system here is the tracking numbers left um, because the system have uh, function to uh, automatically upload tracking numbers when uh, your supplier re release them um, so this is very good if you want to uh, become top rated seller uh, because you have to upload tracking numbers uh, uh, almost uh, on the same day Nick, someone is asking. Nick, someone is asking. Does the supplier have to be Amazon? Uh, I'm assuming he's asking about the tracking numbers. What about Walmart? Uh, we track also Walmart tracking numbers. Uh, currently working on Wayfair and uh, Sears to get uh, their tracking numbers. Uh, I think that they will be ready in max in one week from now. Yeah. But so, but guys, just to have context, this is an extra few free service like. Uh, that the software will do or already does for a for, for, for supplier. So usually you have to do it yourself, but this will be like an extra free service. So uh, just to, so you have a context here. Yeah. Also from this page, uh, you can create uh, notes to remind you something. Uh, let's say, uh, don't forget to list uh, home and garden listings or to close PayPal keys or uh, whatever you want. You can enter here Amazon or Walmart links that you want to list. Also, here you see uh, when a buyer will open your return in eBay, it will show automatically here on the top uh, on the page with uh, the most important information for you. Here is the item title. This is the buyer, buyer nickname. Also, it's linked to That's profile. Uh, here you can see how much uh, money you should refund to your buyer how much Amazon will refund you or Walmart when the buyer returned the item. Here is eBay order ID, return ID. Let me open it to see. There is a technical issue. Okay. Uh, also, you can see when the return was, was started, when the return should end, reason for returning, and uh, buyer messages if he uh, left you a message, a message with uh, the return yeah so so very practical so very practical that you like you you have like there's less and less reason to log into your ebay account you can just like yeah. do a lot of things just purely from uh from the beast so um yeah also yeah. it's good for the vas right nick so so they see there yeah. wait for the vas uh you okay. can you can send directly message to your buyer from this button 
Uh, we also have uh, ready-made templates, so no need to think what to tell the buyer. You can uh, use our templates. Uh, let's say uh, you want to cancel order, uh, in, and uh, here is ready template that can be sent. And when you click on this button, send the message will be sent directly to your buyer inbox. Also, uh, you can uh, directly refund the buyer from here from this button. You can choose uh, how much to refund him and uh, to leave him a comment for the refunding. And when you click this button, the refund will be processed. Uh, the buyer will receive the money in PayPal and the case will be closed on eBay. <clears throat> uh, if you uh, need help in something, we have a live chat here almost uh, 24 hours a day there is someone who is on the support so uh, if you need help about something you can type us here nick someone is asking uh will there be video tutorials yeah i, I started to make them but uh, my english is not so good and okay. uh, we will need a little more time to uh to make them uh, yeah we find it so easy to use also like uh there's like a free pdf where you're like uh how to set yeah. up both your eBay account for free and like for like the DropshipBeast account. It's super easy. It's the easiest software. Uh, so uh, uh, we, we also have a demo. Uh, I, can I uh, drop it in the chat? So of course, of course, uh, I'll put it in. It's, what is it? It's demo dot demo dot right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me. Do you have any questions about this page, guys? Antonio is asking, is it only integrated with Amazon or can we integrate other stores as well? Yes, uh, they have Walmart for the US and uh, Wayfair is coming uh, and Sears. Bank is Bank 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 yes. well. So Werner is asking, where can we change the product description? Nick, just quickly uh, show me where to, where, to, where to do it. Uh, you can't change uh, product description from our system. Uh, we already started this, uh, but it will take a uh, few more days to complete. Uh, you can change almost everything for a listing, but uh, can't change the description yet from the system. Yeah, just go to the eBay account and just quickly change it. It's, it's no big deal, right? Uh, so, uh, Smithy, you have to forward your uh, email to our email tracking cup folder. So the system will receive all the information that Amazon or Walmart send you and we'll uh, update it in the system. And if you if you need help, you can contact us on the um, chat and the guys there will help you to set your tracking cup order. Yeah, so Nick, maybe we can show them like how to do a listing now. Um... Okay. Uh, let's say I want to list this item. I have to copy the link and go to add product. Now uh, we have uh, two options for listing, uh, single listing or multiple bulk listing. The bulk lister uh, will be released uh, in two days. Uh, so I will show you how to list single item now. You have to drop the link here and click on add. Now the system uh, collects all the information from Amazon uh, listing and prepare it for uh, eBay. Our lister is uh, entirely SEO optimized and uh, mobile friendly. You will see. <coughs> yeah, so explain, explain them what the what the, the red sign uh, uh, means, like with the word. Yeah, it means that we detected that this uh, word in your description. Uh, we have. Uh, more than uh, 1,000 uh, uh, very list brands, brands that, uh, that are forbidden to list on eBay. Also, we check for words like warranty, Amazon, visit our site, yeah, and, uh, yeah. and uh, a lot more. Uh, in this case, you have to copy this word, search here, and you can easily remove it from your listings. Uh, because you don't want this buyer to contact you in eight years and tell you, uh, I want my guarantee about this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here you can see the Amazon title. This is the Amazon title. 
Uh, you can easily change it as you want. Let's say single lever and this. Here you can see characters remaining. eBay have limit of 80 characters. Uh, from this, you can uh, make subtitle for your listings, but uh, subtitles are paid. Uh, eBay will charge you extra money for, for these. Uh, I don't recommend you to use it. Uh, here you can see Amazon category, where is uh, this item listed in Amazon? This here. Uh, you can get uh, a lot of um, good uh, keywords from here. Uh, let's say kitchen sink top. Yeah, it's that one, but no problem. Uh, here you can see eBay uh, category suggestion. Uh, if you don't uh, see the right category, because sometimes uh, eBay suggests um, uh, another category that's not uh, properly, uh, you can change the category from here. Uh, here on the sale, you, you can see eBay price. This is the eBay price of your listing. You can change it if you want. So let's say this. Your profit is also changed. This buy is Amazon price. Here are quantities of your listing that will be listed with uh, duration of the listing. Here is a PayPal email where I will receive the money if someone buys this. Here are uh, policies of this listing. If the item is, uh, if the listing is with uh, Prime option on Amazon, here you can see Prime, uh, we automatically select the Prime shipping policy for you. Also, here are some tags you can uh, enter, let's say, kitchen on this listing. I, and uh, this will help you to group your items. This is only for our system. Uh, let's say if you want to list 100 uh, items for Christmas, you can enter here Christmas. And later when Christmas uh, is gone, uh, you can <clears throat> you can uh, easily search for these items by clicking here. Let's say with this hashtag, uh, kitchen. And when you search here, all uh, listings that have this keyword in the tags will appear here and you can easily remove them or do whatever you want yeah so that's very practical guys when you start to get more listing and you, you want to just uh for example some categories out of season or so so you just remove those items so it's easy to find right yeah. um, uh give me one second please yeah do, do you guys feel that it's uh, really super easy to use uh the software uh jc is, uh, is asking does the calculation of profit take into consideration please Yes, it does. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that in settings later. Uh, yes, exactly. Nick, are you back? Yeah. So here is uh, product listing details. Uh, the system, uh, this is the information that uh, we get from Amazon and fill it here for uh, item specifications like uh, length, weight, uh, high, color. Or uh, brand, I'm not, yes, brand is here. Uh, if we find uh, such information that uh, eBay need to, on uh, Amazon listings, we will get, we will set it here. Also, you can uh, enter your more specification. Let's say chrome finish, mounting, deck mounted, uh, and as much just specifications you enter here uh, as better for your listings. If they uh, prefer uh, listings with uh, more specification on them. If you don't enter here something, uh, when you upload the listing, uh, this specification will be uh, not sent to eBay. We send only specification where is something in them. Okay. Uh, yeah, Nick, show them, uh, like, talk about the pictures and uh, the metadata and, uh, you know, Private listing, maybe. Okay. Uh, first of all, this is uh, Amazon pictures. We take them from Amazon. We automatically resize them and make them uh, 1.5 times bigger. Uh, because eBay uh, rank uh, listings with uh, bigger images better. Also, we remove meta tags from pictures if there are any. 
uh, we rename every picture with the first three words from your title that you enter here. Nick, Nick, why is it important to remove meta uh, meta uh, meta tags? Uh, I'm not so sure, but uh, in some pictures in properties, there is uh, links for Amazon or Walmart where the picture was taken. Uh, and, and we do it, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, so so it, it just helps like sometimes with uh, 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 what's it called, copyright things, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, and like like Nick said, the, the, the software remain, uh, renames the pictures automatically with some of the keywords. So this is like, this is one of the tricks that I showed on my second hangout that I did on building titles. Um, how you can increase your ranking with like renaming the pictures, uh, which you were supposed to do manually. But in this way, like the software does it automatically. I didn't even know yeah. that. So uh, that's a great feature. Um, yeah. Uh, also, you can um, double uh, duplicate your pictures up to 12 with this button here. Uh, because again, if we rank uh, listings with more pictures, Another feature that uh, the, the lister can do is uh, private listing. Uh, you can make your listing private, and uh, when someone buy from you, from buy from this listing, um, you can see on the first row that uh, the uh, first is a private listing where uh, there is no information about prices, about uh, title of the link, and uh, link to the listing. And this will help uh, to prevent someone to steal your uh, hot items by uh, checking your feedback page. Uh, there is still a way to steal your items, but uh, this is... Yeah. Uh, it's just a little help, right? So yeah. Also, uh, you can upload more pictures if you have, let's say this one. And... Oh. Let's try with this one. Juan, Juan doesn't understand private listings. Uh, so basically, Juan, like when someone leaves a, a, a feedback for on your site, usually the item shows up, right? And when you click on private listing, like uh, the beast removes that. So, um, uh, so it's just an extra sort of bonus or, or, or feature that you can have. Uh, it's uh, you know, uh, it's kind of practical, but you know, that's uh, don't worry about it. You don't have to use it, but it's it's a feature you can use just for free. Um, you know, it doesn't hurt. Yeah, here is the pictures. Uh, you can uh, select the main picture of this listing by clicking on this star. Also, you can remove pictures that you don't want to be here. Let's say this one. Also, another cool, cool feature is uh, we can flip images um, horizontal. So by clicking here, uh, this image will be mirrorly. Um, Daniel, help me. What? Uh, we um, will be flipped horizontal yeah. and uh, will be make uh, unique. So if one someone search by image <clears throat> uh, in Google, uh, he won't find the source of uh, your listings. Yeah, uh, as you guys have seen from, uh, especially those from the uh, from the eBay course, those from the academy uh, and not, don't have access to the eBay course yet. Uh, so. By looking, searching by by, uh, by by the pictures is one way how you can find out the suppliers uh, from from other dropshippers. So this way you can just uh, uh, like uh, uh, it it makes it hard for people to to steal your or find it. <laughs> yeah, but you have to be aware uh, because uh, if there is uh, text on this picture and you uh, flip it, uh, the text will become uh, unreadable. So also you have to be aware if. Uh, uh, the item not um, sometimes uh, the items became for, for left-handed people, and this may uh, be a problem. Uh, so beware with this yeah. function here. Someone asked, uh, "What does the the star mean? The star, or like, uh, yeah?" Star set the front image for this listing, the ma the main picture of the listing. Yeah. And let's go to the description. Yeah, as you guys see, it's very well thought out, the software. It's not just some random, here you go, you can like make some listings type of software and uh, and uh, we promise to track it, but we actually won't. Uh, I mean, the price and the stock, this is very well thought out. Um, I hope you guys see that. If you change the title here, let's say like this, it will appear down here on the description. Uh, here is again the pictures, text. This is, um, uh, let's repeat, uh, the listings are entirely mobile friendly. Um, and sale optimized. Uh, if you don't like this uh, template, you can change it from here. 
all of these templates are free. You can use it, use them. Let's say you want this, it's a red, co red uh, theme and images to be uh, large. When you click here, you can see. Or if you want, you can use this template with medium pictures. And uh, you can uh, easily change text from here. You can manage the to you can edit them as you want. You can bold them, uh, change sizes. Uh, you can color the text like you want. Also, when you are ready with editing of your description, you can review it from here. And that's how it will appear on, e on eBay. Let's try to make it better. And that's not good. But you get the idea. You can experiment with different templates. Yeah, but yeah, so you have a lot of options, but it's not like something to get caught up with uh, too much. Uh, in yeah. general, for you guys, uh, uh, that's just like extra bonus, right? Uh, oh. The listings look fine, you know, so you don't have to like spend too much time. Also, if you uh, use uh, own uh, template, you can click here on tools, source code, remove this code and paste uh, your template if you use custom made templates. And when you click OK, it will appear here. And let's say you are ready with, uh, with the listing. You want to list it, you have to click on this button, add product. Nick, uh, people are asking when will the, the feature will be ready um, that uh, you can uh, add more eBay accounts to with like with one dropship beast, you know, like. Uh, uh, we have to we have to finish uh, first uh, the, the suppliers, right? And uh, later we'll uh, make this uh, master accounts where you can manage all of your eBay accounts from one beast account. Yeah. And uh, now the listing is live. You can check it from product page. It was. And it will appear here. There you go, super easy. Images are duplicated to 12. There is item specifics, the type description. Yeah, it's not the best description, but if you want, uh, you can play on them. Uh, okay. That's that. Uh, Nick, show them the, the orders today, like where you can see all your sales. From order orders today, you can see your sales for the day. That's how the page looks like uh, there is no information no um, I currently have only one sale on this account it's only for demonstration uh, but you'll get the idea first you can see some some statistics here how many sales you have for this uh, period what's your profit uh, average sales per day and uh, eBay turnover total income from eBay and total outcome for Amazon. I'm not sure if if the words are Yeah, right. so it's just the, 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 the purchasing price total uh, for, for your purchases from Amazon in this case, right? Yeah. Yeah, so Here you can see uh, this uh, graphic uh, where the green line show you the profit for this particular day and the black one show you how many sales you have. Uh, you can click here and see your sales for 18th. Yeah, uh, also here we have uh, some indicators that show you that uh, you have uh, orders. Let me open it. Uh, the blue one show you that you, you have uh, order that was not shipped yet. So it remind you the red alert show you that you have shipped order, but uh, don't have uploaded tracking numbers. Uh, because tracking numbers are very important in uh, USA. Uh, and uh, these indicators will show you. Uh, okay, here is the um, information of your sales. 
Uh, you can see the dates where they appear, quantities that you've sold, image, uh, title of the item, postage option that uh, the buyer used uh, when purchasing the item, your profit uh, for this sale. So this is your eBay price. For uh, sourcing price, we have two price. Uh, first one, this then price, is the price when the order in, uh, uh, in eBay was made. Uh, the second price is the price uh, that was last uh, checked by the system. You can see when, like here. That, guys, that is important that the price happens to change, like in the meantime, if you haven't yeah. shipped it yet. So let me try to find such a, an order. Yeah, the, uh, it's it's fine. Like, people get it, I think. Um, yeah. So if the if you sell the item and like you haven't shipped it yet, and the price on Amazon changes, then you will see like a change there, and like now yeah. source now. Uh, Nick, maybe you, should, you can show them the, the cool uh, buyer info uh, function, which is uh, really practical, right? Yeah, when you click on show address, you can see uh, the buyer's address uh, and uh, all the information that you need to account your uh, business. Here is buyer ID, PayPal ID, eBay order ID, and if you use tracking cup order, uh, we'll get Amazon or Walmart ID. All of these uh, links to uh, PayPal, eBay, or Amazon. Uh, from here, you can directly upload tracking number to eBay from this field here. Also, uh, you can uh, uh, choose which email that uh, you used with this uh, order. So let's say uh, from sixth, uh, let me try, uh, let's say, here the price is changed. Nick, maybe, maybe we show them first, like the uh, with the uh, Dropship Beast extension, the Chrome extension, how you can add it to the cart very easily when you're doing the uh, when you or your VAs are doing this, uh, the orders. Okay. Uh, let Let me finish first with this entire start. Okay. Uh, from uh, here, you can uh, mark uh, order as uh, dispatched uh, directly in eBay. Uh, when the order is not dispatched, you can see it's. Uh, uh, it's a green button, and when you click it, it will become uh, gray, and that means uh, the order is uh, dispatched in eBay. Also, uh, you can leave uh, feedback to your buyer from this button. Also, you can send message to them, again, with uh, templates, or you can cancel the order. There is two options here, uh, but I suggest you to use only the first one. <laughs> Uh, you, can, you can use, guys, you can use the, the out of stock option, but don't overkill it, okay? It affects your seller rating, and if your seller rating is bad, then you won't get any increases, or potentially you'll get banned, like, uh, like if you overkill it. So, uh, you want to avoid that, but uh, you can use it sometimes. So <laughs> also, from this page, uh, you can leave notes for your virtual assistants, or just to remind you something, let's say here, and you see it will appear here. Also, you can pin the, this particular order to be on the top of the page. Uh, if there is a problem with it, let's see this, and it will appear here to remind you something. Uh, also, you can delete the order if the buyer uh, wants to cancel it or you cancel it and don't want this profit to be um, calculated in your uh, total profit for the month. You can delete the order from here. And it will become uh, like that. If you deleted it by mistake, there is a restore button. And uh, let me show you the extension, how it works. Yeah, so guys, there is a free, okay, unpaid, you don't have to pay before everybody gets nervous. Is there a free uh, Google Chrome extension for Dropship Beast, okay? Which helps a lot uh, with, with orders, especially when you, when you start to have more. Uh, to make it way faster. So there's other softwares like Smarty Drop where you have to pay for that service. Uh, and here in Dropship Beast, it's included. So uh, so that saves you quite a bit of money, like 10 bucks per month or so. Um, yeah, and um, well, actually more, 50 bucks in this case because they raised the price. But um, yeah, so it, it's for free. Just, uh, uh, well, what's the name called, Nick, uh, in the Chrome store for the Dropship Beast? Beast Drop, right? Beast Drop. Beast Drop, Drop yeah. Uh, it's... Well, when you install it, it will appear here on the extension uh, 
Yeah. Uh, here, and you need to uh, log in with uh, Amazon the uh, account that you want to use for these particular orders. You have to select the uh, domain site. If you sell in uh, Germany, you have to select the. And when you click login, now the extension is logged in your Amazon account, and you can uh, let me walk in here to show you. Now you can see that uh, my shopping basket is empty. Uh, when I click on this button in cart, the item will be added uh, directly in Amazon basket. See, oh. you also you also can add all of these items at once with this button. And now the extension will add those items for you in the basket. You see now. Guys, this is a free service, okay? This is a free service, it's crazy. Uh, um, Pedro is asking, does the app extension run on Chromium uh, Linux? I'm um, not sure. Probably not, right? And that, uh, that's very unusual uh, use, using Linux. Um, so He may try, he may try, yeah, but uh, we did not try it, and I don't know. Yeah. Also, uh, with this extension, you can... Uh, there is no need to copy the buyer address line by line and paste it in Amazon like the standard uh, way. You can just click here on add address and this address will be automatically added to your uh, address book in Amazon. So uh, let me add. Also you can add all addresses of this page at once with this button. Uh, people, uh, people are asking: Is it only for Chrome or for Mozilla or yeah. Microsoft? Only, only, for, only for Chrome. Yeah. So just get Chrome, and uh, uh, you, you'll save a lot of money and time. So uh, I, I switched as well. I, I use Mozilla, but then like since the, uh, the, the uh, extension is so good, I just uh, switched to Chrome. So who cares? Um, also, guys, uh, like, do you see like how much that will save you in time? Especially like if you have like one over 100 orders a day, like I do, uh, then uh, like this helps. Well, not, not my my VAs. It, it saves a lot of time. Uh, um, so uh, just having that in the beast like automatically. So especially with the addresses and etc. So that, that's great. Yeah, and now all of these addresses are added in uh, Amazon. Uh, currently, this is Go shipping order, and uh, Amazon uh, started to make a problem to ship uh, to eBay Go shipping center uh, before a few days. So I'm not sure it will work now. But let, let's try. Ship to multiple addresses. Uh, yeah, again, the problem. So this uh, particular item with Go shipping, uh, I don't know if uh, Daniel told you about Go shipping orders. Uh, you have to ship it. Uh, yeah, but that's that's like a global shipping issue. It's, uh, uh, so that's uh, for those that don't know. If you're part of a global shipping program, like in the states or in the UK, you can sell your items internationally. Okay, so obviously, like Amazon UK doesn't uh, uh, ship it to wherever the item uh, was was sold. So. Uh, so just uh, just be aware, be aware of that. Um, yeah. So obviously, like Amazon will not accept the address if uh, you know if it's from some other country like outside of the UK because Amazon is <laughs> is only country specific, right? So. Mm -hmm. And uh, here are addresses added. Uh, you have to click here. Use these addresses. <clears throat> also, uh, uh, the Chrome extension will delete this gift message, gift note. <clears throat> uh, and we'll leave it blank. So no need to worry if you forget to delete the message. Now you have to choose the payment method. And you're ready, click on buy. And you are ready with these orders. They are completed. Now you have to uh, click here on the dispatch button to mark them as dispatch and you are ready with your orders. So just for, for the newbies, okay, uh, why is that important? Uh, 
you need to in eBay. It's very important to have your uh, your your um, sales as uh, as dispatched. Okay, D depending on your handling time that you put in the business policies, like we talked about in the beginning. Again, I'm referring to the free uh, guides that Nick will, uh, will provide. Nick, maybe you can put in a, a link to the Go Guide in the chat box while I explain um, on how to set up your uh, business policies. Uh, so you need to have your uh, sales as dispatched. Otherwise, it will uh, it will affect your uh, your rating as a seller in a negative way. So you always need to do that, and it's very practical that you can do do it like from the beast itself. So you don't have to like log into eBay all the time, etc. So you can do almost everything from from, uh, from the beast um, itself without uh, going to uh, going to logging into eBay. Can I share the group international group? Of course, of course. Uh, just uh, uh, here uh, is uh, a lot of information that I I might miss. And uh, if you want to stay um, connected with us, uh, better join our group to see when we release updates. And yeah. Yeah, so the go guide is in the chat box. Uh, yeah. Um, it's also in the, on the Facebook group. So uh, when people join, yeah, they so, can see. Yeah, Dropship East International Group on Facebook. OK, uh, <laughs> I think. Yeah, I have to show you guys uh, messages. Uh, you so, can s yeah. So for those that don't know, like obviously you have messages in eBay, and uh, you can do your messages from from the Beast automatically. So there will be like uh, inside the Beast again, saves the time, so you don't have to log into eBay, and it's very practical. So you can do you or your VAs can do it like just from the um, from the software itself. Yeah, from here you can see. Uh, let's say this message. The design is not very good yet, but uh, uh, I think the functionality is more important. Let's see with another okay, one. It looks, it looks good to me, like so. Uh, it, it's fine, Nick. So. <laughs> Let me try with this. Okay. Uh, if uh, if uh, there was a sale and the buyer asked you something about the the item that he bought. Um, uh, you will see this uh, box with information here. Uh, you can leave notes here for this sale. Also, you can see the email that you used for the purchase, uh, uh, supplier order dates. Uh, there is no information because this order was before we released the, this uh, feature, and there is no information. But if you start using it now, it will have this eBay order date. Uh, eBay order ID, PayPal ID, supplier, tracking coral, um, supplier courier that was used, tracking number, delivery attempts, if there was uh, attempts to deliver the package, if the package was delivered to neighbor, and here you can see yeah. of the buyer. That's, that's, that's a great function, Nick. Uh, so guys, from an from a, from a eBay sales perspective, this is like, all the data you want to have, like, so you don't need, uh, like, before answering, because, like, or for your VAs, when you, like, when they send you a message two days after and you don't know what the case was about, here you said you have some general info, so you don't have to get it, uh, log into eBay again. Uh, so it's very practical. Uh, I hope you yeah. guys see the practicality of it. Um, if not, just take my word for it. I mean, <laughs> yeah. And now from here, you can directly send the message to, to your buyer. And that's about uh, messages. Uh, let me show you tracking reports, but in this account there is no uh, no much information. Uh, if you use our tracking app order, uh, it's again free feature for uh, for our clients. Uh, we not only get uh, the tracking information like this, let me open it. Uh, tracking numbers for each sale. Currently, this account uh, sell in UK, and uh, most of the time, Amazon UK use uh, their logistics. But uh, if you sell in U uh, in uh, USA, here you see uh, USPS or another American uh, couriers. Here you can see the most important information. Here is the tracking numbers, and this link that will show you what is going on with this. Uh, particular order. You can see that it will arrive tomorrow. If uh, your buyer have uh, questions or uh, or something, you can easily check it here. Or uh, also, you can share the link with them 
they can see the prices here of the item. Uh, also, the system uh, uh, when when the tracking number is released, uh, the system up, up, updated in eBay in 20 minutes. Wow! So, yeah. Wow. Uh, every every 20 minutes, uh, we update all the tracking numbers that are collected for this particular account. Uh, also, uh, sometimes let me open the demo. Uh, sometimes uh, the buyer is not at home. Not this. Oh, wait a second. When the buyer is not at home, uh, sometimes uh, couriers leave the packet package to your to their neighbors, and uh, we get uh, this information too. You can see, uh, dear Sami, your packet package was uh, delivered to your neighbor. Uh, also, this message will be sent automatically to your buyer. So uh, you won't need to check uh, tracking reports. Wow, that's, uh, that's crazy. That's crazy. That, that saves a lot of work, Nick. <laughs> I didn't yeah. even know that. <laughs> also, about when uh, there is an uh, attempt to deliver the package, uh, this message will be sent to your buyer. Again, automatically, no need to worry about it. Uh, we get information for uh, refunds and returns. When your buyer wants to return the item, uh, you know you have to give uh, him a return label. And uh, when you take the return label, uh, return is opened in Amazon. And when it's opened, you see this uh, message, return request accepted. Once the item is received, we will refund you this amount. Uh, there is second kind of messages, like uh, your refund has been issued. That means the uh, package was delivered back to Amazon and they uh, refund your money. So you can uh, directly from this page refund your buyer by clicking on this issue refund button and it will pop up uh, the same uh, yeah. window. This That's is cool. the one. That's cool. You can directly refund your buyer when Amazon received the item. Uh, also, uh, we get information when uh, the order was canceled. Uh, sometimes uh, items that you sell are uh, limited to a few quantities per week or month. And if you buy more than uh, a world quantities, uh, Amazon or Walmart will cancel your orders. And uh, you see this message in the system. So you know that you have to purchase this particular item from uh, another account. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, Nick, maybe we can switch to the settings uh, part. Um, I think many uh, a couple of things will be will be clearer for for people uh, when uh, when we when we cover the settings part. Okay, uh, settings are here on the email. When you click email settings, and here the first tab is uh, only for you. If you want to change the password of your account, nothing interesting here. Here on the supplier settings. Uh, you can set uh, state tax. If you sell in uh, USA, you know that you have to include sale taxes uh, for your purchases. Uh, when you include it here, uh, this is only for our system to calculate your profit better. Uh, it's not connected with uh, sale taxes in eBay. This is only for our system to, uh, to calculate your profit better. Also, here you can uh, enter the email addresses uh, that you use for purchases, not only Amazon, but Walmart also. These emails are used from the extension. We get them from here, from these fields. So these are the, the, the login emails for, from your Amazon accounts, guys. Yeah. No, no passwords. We don't have access to your accounts. Even if you, uh, when you enter your password in the extension, uh, we don't have these details. Everything is happening on your browser, on background of your browser. So no need to worry that uh, we'll get uh, uh, information for your sales or something like that. Okay, let's go to eBay settings. Here is tutorial uh, you can use to set your settings properly. Uh, from eBay settings, uh, you have to subscribe to eBay notifications. That's very important because if you didn't subscribe and have sale, uh, it won't appear in the system. Also, the system uh, won't uh, store your, quant your quantities in eBay. So 
if you want to use the system please subscribe this button will be blue lighting uh, click on it and yeah just uh, it's normal setting right so just just subscribe and that's it yeah here are uh, policies uh, to use our system you have to have uh, at least two policies for shipping uh, and this is because, uh, as I told you, when we detect the items with prime delivery in Amazon, we will set you this uh, fastest shipping uh, policy. I mean, uh, this one here. Let me see here. Uh, this one is patching in. This is with uh, standard delivery, not prime one. Uh, also, you have to have uh, standard shipping with uh, uh, when it takes items not with prime anymore. We will set standard shipping to it. Yeah. To again, guys. Again, guys. This is what we talked about: the business policies that you need to set uh, before before you start selling. Many people don't don't mention that, even though it's very very important. Uh, uh, so again, I'm referring to the Go Guides, the free Go Guides that uh, Nick and his team put together. Uh, highly suggested to download. There you can have explanation on how to set your business policies for your eBay account. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Also, you have to set your payment policy, return policy, uh, location of the item, let's say UK, the city where is the item, default quantities when you list item will be from here, will be taken from here. Uh, eBay fees, uh, it's important to set them right, uh, to have uh, uh, properly calculated profit profit for all of your items for yeah, a starter nice. account. Even, even start these are different in every country, so you just gotta check, like for your country. Yeah. Also, if you're a starter, uh, your eBay fees will be uh, 40 or 15 percent. Also, the PayPal fees won't be 3.4; it will be 5.4. Again, that's country specific, guys. So just check in your country how much it is. Okay. Uh, so uh, you can put in the correct information. Also, here is description footer, uh, something that you want to appear on the bottom of every listing that you create from our system. You can set here your policies or uh, something like that here. And when you enter it, it will appear on the every listing that you make from our system. From this here, you can set the same profit to all items. Let's say I want to have 10% for of my uh, 1000 items uh, i just have to enter here 10 percent and when i click on update now the system will start to update every profit to 10 percent increase decrease our prices uh, from here you can enter uh, amount that uh, again in percents uh, which will be added or uh, decrease it from your current profits Let's say you have 50% uh, uh, profit on one item, 20% profit on second one, and you want to increase all of them with 5%, click on increase, and uh, the first one you have 55% profit, the second one you have 25% profits. Hope you understand it. Uh, Nick, someone asked about, because there's different state taxes in every state, uh what to do about that uh, maybe we can uh or not we maybe you guys can uh, uh can add a uh function for like different state taxes or so uh, we we've tried but uh for every um for every item there is a different fee also there is different fees for every state so it's almost impossible to uh predict uh, the 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 taxes that have to be paid for every item mm. so that's why that's why you have to enter uh, in supplier settings here on state tax, you have to enter uh, estimated uh, percents. Uh, from, for certain states in America, there is zero state tax. For others, is 15 to 20 percents. It depends from the item. So here you should enter yeah. estimate percent. Yeah. So the bees can do a lot, but not that. I mean, uh, yeah, so that's, that's normal. I mean. Uh, it would actually be crazy if <laughs> that would be possible as well. We have to predict uh, from which state uh, will be bought yeah. and impossible. That's impossible. From alert settings, you can set the desired percent of, of profits when you list the item. 
uh, it will be with uh, this percent profit. You saw that you can change it on the listing, but if you want uh, all of your new listings to have, let's say, 7%, just enter 7 here, and when you list the item, no need to change prices and profits. Again, here, how much items you want to sell on eBay. This uh, default number to trigger alerts, this is uh, pr pr uh, protection from our system. Uh, this means when we detect on Amazon there is uh, two or less than two quantities, the system will set uh, your eBay quantities to zero. Um, yeah, guys, so this is really important, okay? So let's say, I'll give you an example. So let's say you have a sale at 10 p.m., okay? Uh, and obviously you're already asleep, most probably, and you won't do the sales. Uh, let's just assume that. So in the meantime, when you do the sales in the morning or the next evening, like the the what's it called the uh, the Amazon listing could be like already on out of stock on Amazon. So then we make the sale; it's out of stock. So this is a function where you can protect yourself uh, more. In a sense, let's say you put it on quantity thirteen. That means that like if the stock level on Amazon or on Walmart, whatever, is on uh, uh, is on thirteen, your the beast will will put your eBay listing out of stock for protection purposes. Uh, you know, so you don't run into these situations uh, where, yeah, uh, where you, like you made a sale and then like it's out of stock on, on Amazon. So, um, you know, so I suggest to do maybe like 10, 10, 12 or so just to be sure. Yeah. If you are a risky player, you can set it to zero <laughs> or one or two. Also from this page, you can enter your own Vero brands that uh, you don't want to list. If your virtual assistant uh, tried to list uh, something that you've entered here for, for forbidden brands, uh, uh, it will appear like uh, you saw on the listings uh, with uh, the red alert. Yeah, so guys, Vero uh, means that it's a brand that you, you, you cannot list on eBay. That it's like, you, you'll get copyright infringement problems. So this is a way where you can just like, uh, you know, prevent st stuff like that to happen if your VA is listing or so. Uh, currently, uh, currently we have more than 2000 brands added and they are for every user of the system but uh, you can enter your own brands here and uh, you can uh, rely on our uh, yeah our on your database on your database right yeah, yeah. Um, so guys uh, why is that important if you get a message from someone uh, from a certain brand or from someone and they tell you like you cannot sell our items because it's copyright then you can like obviously delist your items and then like you can add the, the brand here in barrel listing. So, so for, for the future, you'll get a warning if your VA is uh, trying to list uh, the, this particular brand. Uh, does that make sense, guys? See, everybody's asleep. <laughs> um, Pedro said it happened to me, eBay took my listing down. Yeah, uh, that's, that's why. So as you guys see, this is very well thought out, uh, the, whole, the, whole, the whole thing, very practical and, and, and user-friendly. Uh, also, just uh, uh, maybe as an insider tip, uh, the, uh, I said in the eBay course, right? Um, the most important thing for uh, the most important function of a software, uh, in, in, ca in this case, uh, eBay software, is to protect you in terms of pricing and uh, uh, price changes and, um, uh, and and stock changes. So um, no software is perfect, but this this one, uh, after I've tested uh, all 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 that are out there, or like all that are like uh, somewhat serious, um, the the beast is the 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 best in terms of uh, um, uh, stock protection and price protection. Uh, they also like um, uh, track and up, uh, update uh, every hour, and they actually do it. Uh, other softwares that I won't mention the names of, they're really big. Um, they say they do it every every hour, but I know from inside information uh, that they actually don't. So they just do it like every three to four hours or so. Why? Because uh, they, they have too many clients and like uh, com compared to their uh, server capacity. So uh, uh, that's where like uh, I know a lot of important, uh, very big dropshippers that had like huge losses. Especially in Christmas season, when you have like uh, tend to have a lot of sales, they had huge losses because like uh, it was uh, the prices and stock levels weren't updated uh, uh, every hour, but like every three or four hours, or sometimes not at all. Well, in this particular case, it's like uh, <laughs> they have so they, they have so many suppliers that they offer that you can list from. That like uh, I've been told um, that fifty percent of those suppliers, those third party suppliers, like they don't even really uh, track the the price changes and stock changes. So you can get into a lot of trouble and have massive losses. Uh, for you know, like if the software is not, uh, you know, doesn't promise what uh, what it says. So uh, like so far, the Dropship Beast after testing all of them has been the most reliable. But you have to have your settings correct again. Um, and uh, but that's that's just as a side info, especially for the newbies uh, or maybe for those that are already like um, a bit more experienced. 
um, uh, it's very important. Okay, uh, so it's all great when I, when I, when someone like uh, uh, you know uh, says like oh we offer like I don't know fifty suppliers that you can list from, but like half of them they don't actually get tracked in terms of price and quantity, uh, which is the most important thing. Uh, uh, I saw lately another case from another software again I won't name it, but uh, where uh, uh, the a guy um, sold an item for eighteen bucks or so, but uh, I think the actual actually one item was like was like one one k like one thousand so he had a loss of like almost one k on one item because like the the, the the software had some hiccup or whatever so this can cost you a lot okay uh, guys so just uh, um, uh, some yeah. guy called online mark here uh, maybe you should rename name yourself uh, uh, is asking can we upgrade the plan anytime or we have to wait until the end of the set? you yeah. can upgrade anytime just message them um, yeah just message us here on the live chat and we'll update it. Yeah, so. uh, I want to show you that uh, you can check uh, uh, when the item was uh, was updated from here in this icon. It to show you. Uh, yeah. To, oh, uh, when so the item was. As, updated you, guys, as you guys see, these these are like uh, from my experience, uh, serious guys. There's no like scamming around, uh, or like you know that they can promise something or like that they don't hold. So. Uh, from experience, I can tell that like it's uh, they, they they at least the guys from Beast uh, they um, they just saw it with with like repricing and everything. So they say every hour, so it's actually every hour, you know. Uh, so that's 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 really important because you know you can have all the fancy stuff and whatever, but like if you don't if you can't rely on repricing and, and spot level etc., like you can forget about it. Uh, especially when you when you have more sales and everything, you can lose a lot of money. So um, so just just as a as a side note. Um, also, many people have been asking about suppliers, okay? For the US right now, the beast has like Walmart and Amazon, uh, which is over 1 billion items, guys, you can list from. If that's not enough, uh, then maybe this, this is not for you. However, like there will be like three more suppliers added, uh, uh, good suppliers, um, uh, probably next week. Oh, Nick, right? Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, so Sears uh, will be added, which is a great supplier, uh, uh, um, especially with their discounts and everything and uh, uh, cashback. Uh, Bang Good, um, uh, which, which can be a really good supplier, and uh, and and Wayfair as well. So uh, there's good stuff coming for UK as well. Bang Good and Wayfair. So just uh, uh, you know, for those that are nervous about like, oh, I don't have any suppliers. Like uh, again, uh, there's plenty, 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 plenty uh, of items to list choose choose from. And uh, uh, usually it's not uh, the lack of suppliers that why people fail, but just the lack of skill. Uh, because like just from Walmart and, and Amazon alone, you have over one billion uh, products. Yeah. So uh, that, that should be enough. Uh, currently, I use only Amazon for all of my accounts, uh, so you can do it. There is a lot of stuff there. Uh, the support of Amazon is very good. Um, deliveries are 90% uh, in time, so you won't have problems with them. So uh, let me show you a virtual assistant control panel that we have. It's again uh, free. You can uh, create uh, virtual assistant accounts from here. Uh, this is uh, for your employees. From here, you can create email address, password. This is this can be every email that you want. Only this is the login details for your uh, virtual assistant. From here, you can uh, give them permissions to let's say add listings, delete listings, edit prices, change change uh, tracking link to ship orders, to issue refunds and cancel orders to show them all the profits and stats for your orders uh, to change settings and to have full control of your orders also from this page you can set uh, here their commission uh, let's say if you want to give uh, 10 percent to this uh, virtual assistant and click add you see why this uh, this uh, assistant have listed uh, 100, almost 200 items, uh, and total profit profit that he gained for me is here, and his commission, 10% from the profit he gained. You can see it here. Uh, yeah, guys, this is uh, this is only an option, right? So this is only if you pay your uh, your VAs uh, yeah. via via commission basis. If you have a monthly fixed salary, that doesn't apply, but it's just an option if you have it. Some mm -hmm. some pay their VAs with, uh, on commission basis. Uh, most are paying with fixed pages, but just an option that you have, right? 
Yeah, you also can uh, track them when they was uh, was seen online. Uh, we'll add another uh, uh, information like uh, what uh, they do uh, when they was online. You can track what they do, what they list, uh, and everything from this page. So this this is for the control freaks, right? But uh, sometimes it can be a very good option to have uh, if you like not sure about uh, some EAs, right? Um, so. <laughs> that was saying well, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. So uh, uh, I think we have it right, uh, so far, right, Nick? Um, yeah. Most of it, right? Yeah. This is the most important information. Yeah. Do you guys have Do you guys have any questions? Uh, 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 or how? Or let me ask you this: How do you guys feel uh, about the software so far? Do you think it's really solid, or or? or? Uh, people have to wake up again. Uh, JC is saying insanely great. Uh, Derek is saying good. Peter is saying awesome. John is saying yeah, awesome. Hank is saying great. Jose is saying I'm using it for one week. It's very easy. Eric saying I need a cigarette. Come on, bro. Uh, online Mark here. Uh, whoever that is is saying bombastic. Billy is saying it's great. Juan is saying great. Jacob, uh, what's up, Jacob? Uh, is saying good stuff. Um, let's see who else. Uh, Ikash only. It is, but a lot to understand. It's really simple once you start to use it. Mark saying very good. Michael saying very good. Um, oh, good stuff, sorry. Trevor saying want to use it and provide feedback, but awesome so far. Um, yeah, could be good, Trevor, um, for you. Um, Dave Nolan, um, Nick, brilliant software, excellent English. <laughs> uh, Mark saying powerful. Uh, Keith is saying absolutely tremendous. Jose saying and time saving. Yeah, that's true. Uh, it's really time saving, especially with the Chrome extension. I mean, I did not expect that. Uh, so. Uh, like when I started, uh, uh, when I tested out Dropship Beast, um, uh, they didn't have it, but like they were really fast with innovation and uh, implementing new things. So then they added the Chrome extension. I was like, oh, wow. that's that's solid, man. Uh, saves you money and time, especially now. Like uh, for the most part, especially if you have a lot of orders. Like there was this software called Drop uh, Smarty Drop that is now like really expensive. Uh, so you save like quite a bit of money because it's for free for the beast. Uh, crazy service as far as I'm concerned. Uh, uh, Billy is saying make trial version last 30 days. Oh, that's crazy, man. Uh, don't don't be cheap, man. Uh, for, for 14 days, in my opinion, is, is already very generous for me. So, um, you know. Um, okay. Um, uh, do you guys have any questions um, on uh, software related? Um, um, how does price compare to Dropship Tool? Uh, I don't know the price of the Dropship Tool, but uh, yeah. Um, Jack is saying great assistant to plug in for drop, uh, drop shipping, make it easier. Pedro, the software has 14 days trial. Yes, Pedro. It has. Oh man, don't be cheap, Pedro. Come on, man. Uh, uh, hard to get this trial. Yeah. Just register. When you register? Yeah. So you just register and the trial will start. Uh, that's usually how it goes. Um, <laughs> Pedro, lol. Jose is saying on the settings page, the Amazon key settings are mandatory. Um, some keys, uh, I will make a video tutorial how to upload them. Uh, they are only for item specifics like uh, MPN, EAN. If you want yeah. uh, to have these numbers on your listing, you have yeah. to upload uh, Amazon keys, but uh, they are not uh, necessary. Uh, anyway, I will make a tutorial how, how to get these keys, uh, keys and how they will uh, work on the system. Yeah. So Eric is asking, can you use the automated list of function to list items from other supplies that are not supported by least? And all you can't, right, Nick? Yeah, uh, currently no, but I have an idea to make uh, uh, to make it work like yeah, that. So uh, if cool. anyone oh. from experience, if anyone can do it, Nick, Nick and his team can. So, uh, but again, Eric, uh, it's usually uh, what I found. It's not the lack of suppliers that you're not making money. Okay, uh, it's not. It's just the lack of skill, right? Like, let's just keep the US example with Walmart and Amazon. You have like over 1 billion items you can list from. Come on, if you, that's not enough, uh, you probably won't last. Um, uh, but uh, Nick will add more and more supplies anyway, so uh, just relax, okay? Um, advantage of the Chrome extension. Uh, we, we talked about that for uh, like in length already. Uh, I think people don't want to hear it the fifth time. Uh, how much is the upgrade after the trial? Um, yeah, so the first just, just check the home page and they'll, they'll have the prices. Uh, Dropship is definitely one of the cheaper ones compared to the others, uh, even though it's the most solid. So, uh, uh, you know, um, so price is really not an option in this case compared to the value. Um, Jose is no, saying, uh, uh, we don't work with uh, affiliates. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we, we need affiliates. 
yeah, people are, uh, from what I've heard, like people are moving to Grub Beast like crazy. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, kind of understandable, but uh, yeah. So, uh, also, uh, any other question, guys? Uh, if you use another system, uh, you can easily import all of your links to our system. It will take uh, no more than one or two minutes. Oh, yeah. So no need. Okay. Uh, yeah, people have been asking, like, uh, if they're using a different software, how do they uh, link it to the beast? So they, they should get a CSV file. Is that correct, Nick? Yeah, the CSV file. And if you have uh, unlinked products that don't have Amazon, Walmart, or other supplier link, you, you have uh, another tab here with unlinked products. And when you click click on it, you'll see uh, upload CSV file to import. So it, it won't take more than one or two maximum minutes. Yeah, so, uh, or you can do it manually, yeah, you know, like just, uh, or get a CSV file. So, uh, Jose is asking Daniel, what would be a good first target of items to sell? Like, 100 to 1,000, uh, etc. Are you talking about listings, uh, Jose? Just, uh, um, just give me a quick answer. Listings, yes. Okay, uh, depends on your strategy, okay? Uh, so, uh, I talk about this in the eBay course, uh, there's different strategies, uh, you can use, you can use like, very specific items that you could uh, use a lot of time to research for, so you have less items, or you can you can go more for for like mass and bulk. Uh, so uh, you know, just go for the first hundred and then see how you're doing. Uh, for the replay, uh, I'll talk with Matt if we will post it, but um, I think probably we will. And um, uh, but I'm not sure. I don't want to promise it. But uh, if yes, we will post it in either the academy or or uh, or, or the eBay group. Uh, both. I mean, so you know. Maxime, uh, is it better to focus on Amazon or eBay when starting first? Uh, Amazon is just the easiest to start as a supplier, so, uh, you know, and it's the the, the the most reliable supplier. Pedro is asking, I noticed Amazon says they don't want people to use Prime membership for graphic. Who cares? So do you re recommend, like, multiple Prime accounts? Yes. Uh, or what should the limit of daily sales I get so that I have to get another Prime membership? Or can I just have 100 sales a day and order from the same Amazon account? So it would not matter. There is no, there is no rule there, okay? So just... Uh, uh, like sometimes if you overkill it, they can ban you, but always have like backup accounts, okay? Backup accounts, uh, from the beginning. So you have like two backup, uh, backup accounts, uh, different credit cards for different accounts, okay? That's the most important thing because Amazon tracks credit cards, not names. Um, so you always want to have backups. Same for Walmart, okay? Um, uh, as far as the, the official thing is like, uh, who cares? Uh, so, so what they say, uh, everybody's using it. So, uh, so it's working fine. Uh, with Prime, uh, just sometimes they, they close it, so that's that happens, you know. There is a there is a point of randomness, guys. So there is no there is no one hundred clear guarantee or so. eBay can shut you down uh, account down as well. So that's just part part of it. But uh, usually it does not tend to happen. So uh, you know, as, uh, if you have one hundred sales a day, uh, just mix it up with two accounts or so, or that that, that should be fine. Um, yeah. Uh, but there again, there is no one hundred percent clear cut answer. So that's just like from experience. Uh, online up here. Uh, in the future, is it possible to import to Shopify? Uh, Shopify is a different game, man. Uh, that's uh, that's a different game. Uh, so Nick will see about that, I guess. But, uh, yeah, that's... I was talking last night with uh, my partner about Shopify, yeah. and uh, we we will integrate it uh, in near future. Yeah, I mean, uh, those guys are crazy. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, it's a very powerful seller channel, selling channel, yeah. and so uh, we will work on it. Yeah, uh, yeah. If anyone can integrate it fast and, and good, then it's from experience the the, the beast guys. Uh, so uh, just from a customer perspective, uh, it's just the innovation like they have. Uh, it's, it's just really good. It reminds like me a lot of Apple. Uh, actually, that's one. Uh, but uh, uh, when a, a big dropshipper pitched it to me, he was like, uh, "Hey man, like check this software out. What do you think?" And he's like, uh, "It's a bit like Apple." And I'm like, oh, and I was like, "Okay, well, let's test it out." And they're like, uh, "So far, it's been uh, really true." So. Um, Hank, Daniel, where can I find your eBay course? Uh, Hank, are you from the Academy or from the easiest uh, system ever? <laughs> uh, just give me a quick answer here. Um, I'm new here. Yeah, but w where did you get the link from uh, for, uh, for, for this Hangout? From Matt. Uh, so I'm assuming you're in the Academy. Is that correct, Hank? <laughs> Let's see. Come on, Hank, don't fall asleep. I'm only subscriber. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So uh, there's a the um, you can uh, you probably can Google uh, Google like easiest system today course and then you can buy the, the eBay course. 
uh, Matt and, and me, like uh, I did it for free. Uh, so, uh, and, and we, uh, uh, the pricing from what I saw is really cheap. So, uh, a similar quality type of course, other dropshippers are selling it for $1,000. Okay. Uh, so that's a real bargain. Uh, you know, uh, you can thank Matt for that. Uh, and I didn't charge for my time or whatever. So, uh, um, or, or for the knowledge, uh, just, you know, um, Matt, Matt has been a great help to me. So, uh, so I'm happy to, um, to, to, to have, a, uh, to, to do this course with him. So, Hank, okay, that's Dave. As a newbie with a 10 item, $1,000 limit, how do I get multiple accounts? You just sign up for a new one with a different email address. That's it, Dave. Boom. Uh, where do you get your replay if I need to ask Matt? Uh, again, uh, I'll talk to Matt if we will po re uh, post a replay and uh, if Matt says yes and, uh, and, uh, and Nick says yes, then uh, we will uh, post, uh, post a replay in either the, in both groups, essentially, in the eBay group, Easy System Today or, um, or in the Academy, okay? Uh, so eCash only is asking, so do, do we need a credit card registered in an, uh, uh, in an Amazon account? What if you usually pay with PayPal? Yes, you need a credit card, uh, for, for Amazon accounts. Uh, otherwise you can't participate, uh, for the Prime membership. Um, John is saying you can't buy items with PayPal on Amazon. Exactly. Pedro is asking, Dave, just create another account. Yeah, we'll dip in email address. That's it. Okie dokie. Uh, Terrence is asking, I'm in the Academy. Is there something different for Academy members? Or what do you mean something different? The, the eBay course has not been released to Academy members. It probably will be sometimes in the future, but uh, but not now. So you have to buy the eBay course separately. Um, but it's cheap sell, so, uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Juan is asking me in a private message. I'm from the Academy. I know, Juan, uh, what is your eBay course? Yeah, so I guess this, that is answered. Um, Mark, how do we get PayPal to free money from sales? Easy. You just upload the tracking numbers and uh, and, uh, and and that's it. So uh, uh, you should uh, that should be that should be fine. Uh, but you gotta do some homework in the beginning if you're a paper parent here. Um, I'm a new member of Easiest System ever. If that helps, as beginning very poor audio. Well, that's probably on your computer. Uh, so uh, nobody said anything about poor audio. So I guess that's uh, your computer related. Um, uh, was the audio fine, guys? Uh, like during the presentation? Yeah. Okay. So everybody saying yes. Uh, online mark here. Um, uh, well, there is no link to the academy. Uh, it's application only. It's not. It's, <laughs> the academy is an elite group, so like uh, you can't just you know sign up somewhere. There's like application. But uh, yeah, I guess you can send me a message on, on Facebook and uh, or or in the uh, or in the what's it called in the eBay group if you're from the eBay group and uh, and uh, well, we can we can talk about that uh, so uh, I'll ask Matt before though uh, so um, yeah uh, the eBay course everybody can buy though so um, there okay that's yeah everybody's saying yes for the audio uh, in the beginning it was okay uh, so I guess more there was it was fine uh, John is asking where can I sign up by the way your course or it's free. <laughs> It's for free. Uh, no, it's not for free. Uh, uh, it's very cheap, though, from what I've heard. Uh, I did it for free. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, you just uh, Google easiest system today uh, course, uh, and uh, you should find some link. Um, uh, John. Yeah, we'll see about the replay. So again, uh, I mentioned that. Okay, uh, do you guys have any other questions? Or let me ask you this: uh, How did you? How did you guys like Nick, Nick's presentation? JC saying fantastic. Um, the other ones are asleep. I guess Trevor saying awesome. Pedro saying great. Um, yeah, I guess the rest is asleep. Uh, uh, was very informative. Derek is saying uh, online market is really good and far away a good platform. Uh, yeah, I agree. Um, Nick's a very practical guy and uh, Mark saying very good. Jose saying great. Thanks for the presentation. You can definitely welcome Jose. Um, um, yeah, do you guys have any other questions uh, while, while we have Nick on? Uh, again, uh, thanks Nick for coming on. Um, um, Hank is saying it's all new for me, but it helps a lot. Yeah, <laughs> it probably does. Uh, I certainly didn't have that information in the beginning when I was starting out. Um, uh, thanks Nick, online market is saying. Uh, Nick, if you have. Yeah, soon. Uh, okay, impressive software, awesome efforts. Thank you both. Um, okay. Uh, any, any, any other questions while we have Nick on for a couple more minutes or so? So again, Nick is running four companies uh, and uh, uh, I'm 
like I'm a customer of Nick, so uh, I asked him yeah, to ask him if he would do a free presentation. Uh, as you guys can imagine, Nick has other stuff to do, uh, as do I, by the way. So uh, you know, um, so it's just enough free time uh, because uh, yeah, Matt has been a great help. Uh, and um, so Nick, like maybe we'll t we'll take like one or two more questions, and uh, if not, we'll just wrap it up, um, guys. Here um, we've been on for two hours now, if, if, uh, um, if I don't mistake. Could you tell your typical monthly profit using dropshipping by Amazon or eBay? That you can, there is no typical uh, profit. Uh, a it depends on your country. B uh, depends on your skill and, uh, and your competition. And uh, uh, but mostly, mostly, uh, uh, well, more than fifty percent on your skill. So there, there is none. Like uh, if you're good, you're good. If you're not, then you just, you know, it's just not. Uh, so uh, Jose, thank you for sharing the time. To educate us. Yeah, no worries, man. Uh, chillax. Uh, thank Matt for it, by the way. He's the crazy guy that started the academy and. Uh, uh, and had the idea for the eBay course, so you know. <laughs> uh, so that's that. Uh, any other questions, guys? Um, Vern is asking, uh, when will be released to have used multiple eBay accounts in bulk listing? No, not in six months, more She likes, man. Uh, uh, bulk listings will be released, uh, I hope, uh, to the end of this month. Uh, multiple eBay accounts will take a little bit longer, but uh, uh, hoping max max one month from now we'll be ready. Yeah, so Jose saying thanks, Matt. Uh, Pedro saying no, thanks for the time, guys. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. Uh, some has, have been asking if we, we, we can do a special for the Academy or so. Uh, probably not, but I'll, I'll talk to Nick afterwards. Uh, um, uh, you know, because uh, just many people are joining Dropship East anyway, so there's no real need uh, 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 for that. It's dropshipeast.com, Nick, right? Yeah. So some uh, Kevin is asking where can I get his offer? Dropshipeast.com. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. So that's that. Um, uh, I guess there are no other questions uh, unless you want to just pop in one or two more quickly. Um, yeah. Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay. Okay. All right then. Uh, so thanks, guys. I uh, hope this was informative. Hope, you, hope guys you like it that we brought a high level guy like Nick on uh, for to give a free presentation, um, and uh, and yeah so so that's that. So we'll talk to Matt about the replay and uh, if Nick and uh, and Matt uh, uh, agree, uh, we will we'll post it in the eBay group or uh, and or in the academy. Well, if <laughs> if we're gonna post it, we're gonna post it both. So so that's that. Uh, yeah, so thanks for coming and uh, uh, <laughs> hope you learned something from it. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be doing more meetings in the future. No, this is already the second one, uh, Hank. Uh, so <laughs> uh, this is already the second one. Uh, so we had one last week, but people have been asking for Nick to come back if possible. And um, me and Matt asked Nick again. Uh, so two hours uh, for uh, two hours of time for, from a guy who Nick means a lot. Again, he's running four companies, so he has other stuff to do. Um, and uh, but uh, you know. Um, so that's that. All right. Uh, thanks, guys. Uh, we're gonna uh, close close down the hangout, and uh, yeah, I guess have a good one. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you guys. Bye, Pedro. Okay. Uh, cheers. Uh, you're welcome, Jacob. And uh, 